Jiang Yin, thank you for coming today, for coming back to this house two years on. And uh, I just wanted you to see whether it brought back any memories. It's almost two years, right, since um, you, you were filming here. Yeah. I mean, as you well know, the process, the filming uh, process wasn't easy for me. Mm. It was such a personal story. So, in that sense, um, for me, this house, although it's a film set, represents those hard memories and difficult memories, you know. So really, you, I mean, I know how obsessive you were in <laughs> going through all the details. I keep telling you, really, does it make all that difference, you know? <laughs> it, it, it does to me. I know, and, I know, and, I know. Yeah. So, I mean, for me to create that, that sort of love uh, or loving detail. Yes. Like, and um, you just like immerse yourself into correct, that whole yeah. thing. And it helped the actors as well. The actors, when they walked on the set, they, they, they spoke to me about it and they said, wow, it really helps you see the, the I guess, the poverty. Mm. You know what I mean? Straight away, how much they were struggling and you're, you're living in this grand space and yet everything's falling apart and you know, everything's stained. You know? So, so it, it was evocative. The set worked. Mm. So that was the memories of the shoot which were not pretty. Yeah. I mean, the shoot itself is lovely, but it's not pretty memory for me, you know. And then walking back two days ago, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, I was quite amazed at the transformation yeah. because it's not bright and cheery and gentrified. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you think that, do you, you know, after doing the Sea Games, right? Yeah. Do you think you got more recognition for that than your years of filmmaking? Possibly. <laughs> it's very discouraging, but possibly. And I mean, okay, local films have never enjoyed a stellar reputation amongst our own people. You know, I mean, there are a lot of local filmmakers who, who do so well internationally. I mean, other people. Really? Not aside from myself. You know, I mean, there are others who do really well. But they are virtually unknown in their own country. Mm. You know, and they, I mean, if I talk about struggles, they really struggle. Yeah. It's the, it's cultural imperialism, you see. <laughs> yes, and we have the, lost the fight. And then this <laughs> is taking over the world. Yeah. It's, won the battle. It's definitely true. I mean, yeah. how do you explain uh, boys in kampongs wearing baseball caps backwards? Mm. What is it to do with you? Mm. You know, but well, it's taken hold. They think it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't. Did P. Ramli ever have a? have that influence, you know? Actually, honestly, everything is porous, mm -hmm. culturally and everything. And, and also, and at that time, no, there was no questioning about the Western influences because they wore suits and all that. And, and for you to have a universal appeal, usually the storytelling is a Western format. Ah. The three act thing and all that, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you can have, as people say, you can tell stories in any format, which mm -hmm. is true. But if you want mass appeal, is the tree yes. you, I mean, it's like you can do a hotel with with no rooms, but nobody will come and stay. You can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Yes. Not, yeah. yeah, yeah. But there are still certain conventions that the mass responds to. I keep saying the mass because film is a mass medium. Yeah? So it's have you been lured over over to the dark side, making TV drama series? There's no dark side as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I've done drug TV before. It's, I've nothing against it. I mean, a lot of TV. No, no, I mean, it's just it's it's where that's what you know where the money is. I suppose it's what is attracting the. Not in Malaysia. Not in Malaysia. Not in Malaysia. Uh, I mean, there's not only no money, but there's also no no appetite for interesting content. Right. Yeah. So that, that's why I. There's, there's no space, you know? Yeah, there's no point in yeah. the TV for me. Mm. You know, I mean, a lot of good TV is happening as, as we speak. Yes. But I'm not part of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. And, um, you know, it was a really wonderful journey for me as well, living next door. And, um, you know, sort of like, I was following the film, you know, from the minute the trailer came out because it was the music, see? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Thank you. <laughs> but I also was so curious about how you were telling the story because 
I only saw I only saw what you were doing here, but I never really knew what you were doing on the other set. Yeah. So it was like, and you kept it under wraps so well. Actually, it took you a, a long time to release the film, and more than a year, right? A year plus. A year yeah. plus. Yeah. Yeah. Was that is that a normal length of time? It's a little bit longer than normal, but it's not unusual. Right. Yeah, but it's also a sensitive film right. because we had to find the pitch and we had to find the strategy. How do we sell a kid film? Mm -hmm. First time in Malaysia, so there was a lot of toing and froing on that. How do you package it? Package this? Is this a filial IT film? Is it a, right. a, a what aspect of the film do you focus on in right. marketing? You know, so a lot to be worked out. รู้เวลาตั้งโมบิลซุยหัวหลังยังไหมรู้ไอ้เสียบอกยังจะช่วยสีรู้ไอ้เสีย Looking back now, would you do it all over again? Do what? This project? Yes. Yes. I think it was a necessary. It was necessary for me. I mean, I would. I've. I've said it in all the making all the interviews and everything. First writing the script took a lot out of me. Then rehearsing at the play, and then watching the play being staged, and then making the film, and then watching the film. It took this process for me to come to terms with the past. I guess it was like intense therapy, really intense. And mm. it's still there's still lingering uh, feelings, you know. But how has the family, you know, um, taken it? Have have your relationships become closer or worse or whatever? Actually, closer. I would say, I would say definitely closer. I mean, there was, of course, I was worried, worried that how they will receive it mm. because it's not we are portraying a live person, you know, somebody who's still alive, and it's, they have an interesting story. It's your sister. My sister and your aunt. Yeah. yeah, correct. And my cousin of mine, whose mother is featured in the film. Yes. With, uh, yes. So he wrote to me after he watched the film. He said, "I was really worried when I heard you're making a film about the family, but I finally seen it, and I must congratulate you on being fair. And that is high praise, and that is what I strive to do. You know, just to be fair." Yes. And I, there are no heroes, there are no levels. No, you don't try to sort of like make someone the villain, right? No, it's just what happened. And everybody, even when it's cross purposes, comes from a good intention. Kwan 希望有人来作伴，厝内温暖的双手，轻轻牵阮向前行。风雨大，嘛一时经过，犹原无变化。你的痛，阮是知影为着啥。若想起。想这呢多，千言万语藏心内，我感谢你。若想起咱的歌。